During the times of sharing whilst overseas, there were two things revealed about the way of stories. And one is that every element of every story represents an aspect of our own selves, our own psyche. And the second was that there are four ways to understand stories, all stories. The first is that level where we can comprehend its message, its moral, its teaching. And the second is where we recognize its symbols, its archetypes, its sacred numbers. And the third is where we understand the deep meaning of the story. And the fourth is when we know the secret that's contained in every one. When we're in a state of Satchitananda, or existence, knowledge and bliss, all three levels of the stories come together. Just like when we're with someone, we can understand what they're saying, and we can read their body language and their gestures, and we can feel what's hidden behind those words and those gestures. We can feel what's hidden in the depths of their being. But to understand the secret that's contained in every encounter and every story, we have to go beyond Satchitananda. Satchitananda represents the movement of life, the three levels of existence to glean the secret of life. We have to go beyond Satchitananda. This was an old, wily and hungry wolf. And he roamed in the valley below a deeply forested mountain. But it had been a very hard winter and there was little to eat. Now the old wolf knew that up in the mountain, in the forest, it was rich with prey. But he also knew that this was the place where the mountain lions lived. But he had a thought. He thought that he would um, get his old friend, the fox, to join him in going up to make importunings to the great king of the beasts who lived up in the mountains, to solicit his aid in seeking food for them. So the old wolf went off to the fox and there he found him in a very bad state because he had a mate and a lot of um, pups that were all starving. They were all lying around with no energy, their bones showing. So when the old wolf put this proposition to the fox to go up to see the lion, he was readily able to agree. So off they went. And indeed, they found the great beast lolling in the sun, his belly full from his last feed, languishing there, so to speak. So the old wolf and the fox 
made their pleas to him, saying, you know, we can help you to find prey. Well, the great beast of the forest yawned deeply. Of course, he needed no assistance at all to find prey, but he thought he would indulge these two hungry beasts. So he allowed them to take him into the forest where the uh, fox hunted out the prey and the wolf surrounded the prey and then the lion with its, his sharp claws uh, demolished the beast. So in a very short afternoon they were able to kill a great ox, a boar and a goat. Well, they dragged their dead carcasses down to a little cleared area where the lion turned to the wolf and he said, Now, tell me, wolf, how will we divide this? And the wolf thinking that he'd had a brilliant thought, said, Oh, great king of the beasts, the great ox is for you, the boar is for me, and the goat is for our friend, the fox. Well, the lion stood up to his full height and let out a great roar. And what makes you think when I am king of all that anything belongs to you? And with that the great beast bearing his claws ripped the innards from the wolf as the fox looked on. The great beast then turned to the fox and said, Now, tell me, how would you divide this prey amongst us? The fox, trembling in his boots, so to speak, suddenly after witnessing the gory demise of his friend, had a great thought, an inspiration, and he turned to the great lion and bowing down in front of him, he said, Oh, great master of the forest, the trees, the meadows, The ox is your breakfast, the boar is your lunch, the goat is your supper. Without you, it would not have been possible to kill these beasts. They belong to you, as do all things. The lion looked at the fox and said, Where did you glean this wisdom? And the fox replied, It has come to me. And after watching the power of your being over my friend the wolf, All stories have the four levels. The level of the moral, the teaching, 
the level of the symbols and the archetypes, the level of our understanding of what the deep meaning implies, and a secret contained in all. Not only all stories, but in all of life. How do we, how do we reach this place where all is clear to us? We already know the state of Satchitananda. We already know the intense presence, the intense listening, the intense feeling, the intense awareness of that state. But what is it that lies beyond? What is it that lies beyond existence, knowledge, and bliss? Our path lies there. We have no choice but to go there. But first, But first the stories. What is their meaning on these three levels of life? These simple stories. <laughs> 